And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create basic origami diagrams. I've been looking into origami lately a little bit. Let me show you some of the basic elements of these diagrams. We're going to recreate them. Let's recreate the first with the rectangle tool. Make sure that you've got a white fill and a black stroke. You can change the stroke by holding shift and clicking on the color swatches below. Let me change the dashes under fill and stroke. And if you want to rotate it, click on it again, hold control. It's important to keep the number for width in mind. So in this case, I use millimeters and one. Because when you resize it, you can see now the width has gotten resized as well. So define something as basic. As I've said, I use one millimeter but make sure to apply it only after you have resized your basic elements. The second one, you can just copy this, pressing Ctrl D and then changing the fill color. So this is the back side. For the third element, once again, just copy it, pressing Ctrl D. We're going to change the fill to white again. And now we use the Bezier tool, connect these two nodes. The snapping is enabled and I also have snap to paths active for later elements. Now you can change the line to dashes right here with the drop down. And once again, add the basic value for your width. So in this case, one. But I guess I've used this dash in the original. So let me use that here once again. These arrows can be created with the Bezier tool again. But the second left click, hold it and then drag to create your curvature. And then add an arrow head over here on the markers. You can copy that, click on it again, and then hold control when you rotate it. This element is used to indicate a flip. So if you want to flip the page, I've seen that in two different variations. Let us create the first. We'll simply left click to create the shape and then use the notes tool. Reposition your notes a little bit. Maybe, let me do something like that. Then select only the top three nodes. Simply left click and drag, and then select this smooth function. We need an arrowhead once more. And we'll increase the width to one millimeter. The other variation that I've seen can be created with a circle, hold control when you drag it, and then create two elements with the Bezier tool for the left and the right. Once again, left click on your circle. So that's why we've got the snap to path active. If it isn't, it doesn't snap to the circle. And again, left click, drag, add an arrowhead here. Make sure to select all three elements, change to millimeters and one. You can now group it, so control G. This element is fold and unfold. Simply click three times to have this shape created and then let us add an arrowhead and increase the width again. And we can create the curvature by selecting it and using the notes tool, hover over it and you've got your hand icon right there below the cursor and that indicates that you can drag it upwards to create this curve. These basic elements should be enough to create most of the basic origami figures. Let us just use one of these basic elements to show you how you can progress. So just use this one Rotate it, holding control. We want to create a fold. So let us use the busy tool, hold control when you create it. Go 
copy it, press and control D, drag it downwards, then resize the original one. Resize this crease line while holding control. And then use the notes tool, select the two bottom notes by holding shift and then drag it to the right. It makes sense to disable the snapping temporarily. There's yet another line. Select it all once again, millimeters one. This one had a dash line. So let me change that again and control G to group it. And this is how you can use all of these basic elements. You could now add the arrows to indicate where you want to fold it or if you want to flip it. It makes sense for you to create a library where you create all of these elements once and then you can copy them and use them for your own origami diagrams. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.